Hey guys, so I came back because I wanted to share Nori with you guys before she gets painted again. I wanted to talk about her size a little bit. Um, so I discovered that she can almost fit up to five pounds. So I think if I get a few of those items and wash it, it might shrink and she might be able to fit it. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. Hold on. I know this is getting crazy. I'm going to show all of her, but I wanted to hold the camera right here. I'm going to show her squishy belly a little bit too. But so let's see if you guys can see. Like when she sit forward, like her, I don't know if you guys, see it's hard to see with this papper on. Let me take this off. So I don't know if you guys can see like when she sit forward. Hold on, I'm gonna just cover up her girl bits. But the, her little tummy like pushes out like on the side, you, wait, you see it? Like it pushes out. It kind of sticks out anyway, but it pushes out a little bit more. It's hard to see. Uh, I guess I'm not doing a good job of showing it on camera. But I wanted to say that I love that um, Jennifer does that in in some of her babies that she have on her in the store already. They have like the squishy tummies and um, already included in them. And then um, some babies have armature, some don't. Um, most of them do not do not have armatures. Uh, she doesn't like doing them in the little babies. So um, my norm Nori is very like kind of customized. Um, I think because she's pouring them so soft and they're tiny, I think that they will be able to like you know do fine without the armatures plus I know most most people like their babies like very like jiggly so I feel like the armatures are gonna stiffen them a little bit but I personally let me give her her binky that she came with I personally <laughs> I personally like like them on her because I wanted to do more posing and stuff with her um, but I think I would have equally loved her without the armatures. So I'm going to take her socks off too. Um, she has a good size feet, so I like that. So as you can see, she can fit like her, like some of these little regular socks that I got. So I'm excited about that. I got some other little socks for her. I'm just excited that she can fit some of the things that I have for her. Um, her, like I said, her head size is about the same size as Piper's, which is my half pint by Marina Winter. It's pretty much, it's almost the same size as that, so she has a pretty good size head. Um, but she, her body, she's, she's still a tiny little one. Um, she's bigger than... Jasper was by like I think because she's like I don't know I think this part of them are about the same but I think she has more weight in her arms because like she has little fat rolls and her hands are bigger and her feet are bigger and her legs are bigger so she has more more fat on her I think that's one of the things so and I think she's 14 inches. Where is my, you know what, where is my little measuring tape I normally have? I normally whip that thing out. She's 14 inches, but I'm wondering if that's what a big leg versus my other one is 14 inches straightened out. Hold on, I want to see if I can get my measuring tape. Um, don't have it readily available for me right now I don't know what I put it at but um I would have measured for you guys but I'm almost certain where her legs straighten I don't know I think she still might be 14 15 
I don't know, 14. I think she's still 14, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll confirm that with you guys and do my own measurements. <laughs> Look, but according to her sculpt, it says 14, about 14 inches. I don't know if that's bent legs or not, but she's still a little peanut. Um, uh, let's see. I'll give y'all a comparison because uh, some of you guys so this is a four ounce bottle that ain't gonna be good enough look I'm trying to think of what I could put beside her that could make you guys know like how big she is this is nope I don't know but she's she's a good size like she's tiny but she's She's perfect enough size for me. That's all that matters, I guess. Um, but yeah, she's going to wear this little romper. It's so cute. It's so cute. I put it on her. It was so cute. Let me show y'all. It was so cute. <laughs> um, I'm just so excited about her. I, I've, I love preemies, and I love painting them. Um, I just, I hate to put her on a table because... As bad as I want her done, I'm probably not going to focus on anything else. And i got to finish this rooting on this doll because I really need to get that baby sold so that I can get paid. Before I be lighting candles in here playing with Nori. Um, and as I explained before, like you might see some shiny on her because... Um, she's in raw form, so she hasn't been painted or matted or anything like that. Um, so when she gets done and get painted and matted, you won't see any of that. It's just where Jennifer went in and, you know, did her work on her and it's very smooth. And it's pretty cool because this baby is even more special to me because I, I got to see like her do all the work to her. She did a lot of videos of every process, like putting the armatures in and even when she was um, doing the Jelly Belly, she did videos of as she was starting that part. And that was like really cool. So, um, yeah, so she's. I just, I love her. I love that she, her head turns nice. And she is, so you have to hold her head, of course. But her head, I don't know. Like, let me see. Let me see, see, see. Because I don't know how much you guys, okay. So her head actually, do this. So I can see what you guys see a little bit. So her head will fall back. So you have to hold it um so she's flexible in her core um of course she's very soft in her tummy uh let's see i'm gonna take this off of her guys i just wanted you guys to see her <laughs> like how cute is she gonna be with this on <laughs> i just wanted you guys to see her with that on but um so the top of her chest is more firm and then it's not firm it's still soft like it's still very soft but it's firmer than her her tummy part her tummy is uh it's squishy okay so like this part up here like this is soft but it's not gooey soft like this is gooey soft so like this is like I can almost touch close my fingers and touch my fingers together versus you know that part up there so it's pretty cool I don't want to always be squishing on her belly either because I don't want her to have a tummy ache I do not want a tummy ache mommy but yeah so her head turns really good from side to side that's pretty cool I like that on on my babies because you know 
I'll lay them like down and then I just want to be able to you know she already got a piece of hair sticking to her there we go so I'll you know I kind of want them to be able to lay down and and you know not be like they're smothering in the pillow if that makes sense so I know what you guys can see but she's very like her silicone wrinkles up really nicely you see like you can eh, you can see the wrinkles a little bit but you can't see it as much here on the camera but in person you can see it but yeah so she's just gonna be fun fun to pose fun to paint I'm gonna enjoy painting her ears oh my gosh like I am so excited to get painted get started on her um I'm dreading ordering more silicone though because that's expensive it's getting higher and higher as we speak so I'm not excited about that part but gotta go ahead and do what a girl gotta do look at her. look at this look at this <laughs> oh my goodness is she so cute let me see is that my grandpa Gabby, can you open the door for Granada? Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, so, um, yeah. I got to name her. I'm so excited about her. Like, let me, let me, look, let me, let me cover this baby up. Look at this baby. <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh, she's so sticky cute. Y'all can't tell me she ain't so cute. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be so cool. I'm going to show her to my grandfather too. <laughs> I'm going to show him, show her to him now and then I'll show him to her when I finish painting her. I don't know how long it's going to take me to paint her, but with my impulsiveness, I'm probably, I'm probably going to have to try to make myself sleep at night so that I don't paint all through the night so I don't know she's gonna probably get done pretty cool and her head shape is so amazing like I'll be okay with her being bald for a little little second too so I'm just so excited I just need to finish Gianna up I wish I could share her with you guys but I can't bring her over here because she's still being painted but um so I got a full body I'm almost there I just need to I need to just do it, but I, I keep stopping on her because I have to get other babies out, and so I'll stop on her, and so um, I'm going to be finishing her up in between working on Nori, so I'm so excited. Like, I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know what color she's going to end up being. I don't know, like, all her details, if I'm... If she, She's going to have what type of imperfections she's probably going to have because she's preemie. I just want her to look so newborn. And this is the thing that I love about Silicone Studio uh, Silicone is that with their base, the way that their babies start out, it allows me to just take it anywhere. Like I could take the coloring anywhere I want to without any outside interference. Like I don't have to fight against, like I said before, like the pinks and the other grays and all the other cues that people have in their their uh, their pores. So it gives me a good base to start at. And so the sky's the limit. So I'm gonna try to go, I'm gonna try not to rush her. I'm going to try my hardest not to rush her because I, I have that impulsive nature about me when I'm excited about a baby and I really want to see it done. I'll just like keep painting and painting and I'll get to a point where they start looking real and then I'll be like, okay, that's it. That's good enough. She, I can stop now. So I could just mat and play with them. But I'm going to try my hardest not to do that with her. I'm going to try my hardest to just really pour my heart into her because... Oh, I can I can already see like capillaries where I want to put them at and veins and stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited to paint her. Anyway, I know you guys probably like shut up. You said all that <laughs> before. I know this video sounds stupid, but I just want to share the journey 
with her. And I'm just so excited about her. Because I've been waiting on a preemie for so long. I mean, you know, like a preemie that looked like a preemie. Like, not a small newborn. A newborn in like a small body. I This is like, she's very preemie looking. So, um, I'm, I'm here for it. Ah, she's so cute. Okay. Alright, so... Let me get her. I don't even want to move her from this position. Okay, come on. All right. <laughs> Let go of the blanket. Look at her. Oh, I love that she just, her little head fall back like that. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so cute. And she got her little tongue in there, her little gum. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I can really make those little bottom gums stand out and her top her gums in the top of her mouth I'm gonna try to see if I can I can get in there and get that all like really really good like it's just I mean it's not like it's a majorly big to do inside her mouth but it's enough for me to have fun with painting so I'm excited about that oh you guys can't even see that's bothering with her but yeah, she say I am so sweet. Yeah, I think with without the armagers, oh my god, she would be like all wiggly. So the silicone is really it's a really nice soft um silicone pour. So I think without the armatures, like her arms and stuff would be more when you pick them up, she would move more and be more fluid. Um Especially most people when especially if you're new to silicone like I think I think having babies without a lot of armature unless it's like just the elbow armature um, Which not everybody do just elbow armatures I I think otherwise I think most newer collectors tend to like them without the armatures because they want the loose feel and the jiggly when I first started collecting, I really liked that the most. But I've got all that already in my collection. So I'm I'm an old head now. I feel like not that old compared to some of y'all old dusty collectors. I'm just like <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all will hate me for that. Oh uh, <laughs> don't unsubscribe. <laughs> You're not dusty, you just kinda like rusty <laughs> no just laying but um no seriously um i think uh some of the other collectors the older collectors were like we're okay we like like different little things that we're not like as fascinating like even for me like the drinking wet i like the drinking wets but i'm not like fascinated with it anymore um so i don't I don't have to have them. I could have got drinking wet with Jaden, but I opted not to get it because I just didn't see the point. So, um, yeah, so that's all I've got. Uh, da, 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 da. I, I don't know, like I could put Piper next to her, but I don't want to. But yeah, so it's it's really I don't know, like I had I had I did put on like a smaller oh and she could fit like like even this is baby gap. Baby gap up to five pounds. She actually can fit like the top. The pants was a little like almost too baggy, but not too bad because if this was a real baby, they would probably you know, we would be putting them on stuff that would be too big for them like that so it would work so the up to five pounds actually let me show you so the up to five pound actually she makes me want a boy version of her too <laughs> but um yeah, so the, the up to five pound shirts, 
I feel like fit. That's just me. Like, um, I feel like I could still put this on her. So if I was, not, I'm not gonna put it, do all the fastening and all that stuff. But I feel like it'll, it's baggy on her, but I feel like she could like get away with it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got a little white one. So she'll wear that one, but I think I sent the, well, I had another color with multiple color girl when it went home with Grumpy. But yeah, but the baby, yeah, the baby gap up to five pounds. Definitely if I wash this too, like if I wash this, it might shrink a little bit more. Leave it in the dryer extra longer than normal. I think it'll work. <laughs> I'm so in love with her. Okay, I know this is a long video, guys, but I'm just so excited and so in love with her. Um, I've never dressed my babies before I paint them. I ask collectors not to do this. Like when I used to do private orders, I would beg them not to do what I'm doing right now. Um, I know a lot of people tell people that it's okay and that they just gonna get really washed off in the end and all that stuff. But I just, I prefer not to play with them like that. But she's my baby and if I... I don't think I'll run into any issues. I pretty much know what I'm putting on her and what I'm not. And I know I kind of have an idea of what I shouldn't be playing with. Like, I won't put, like, any latex in her mouth or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, so that's, that's her, guys. All right, I'm going to go so I can go talk to my grandpa. I'll see you guys later. Bye.